Hello and welcome back. I'm Talia. I'm an artist and interior stylist in Los Angeles and I help people affordably curate more beautiful and functional spaces. 2020, am I right? 2020. It's been a very interesting year. Um, I did not have living through a global pandemic on my bingo card. I've been out of work since March and uh, trying to build up my design studio has been slowed down significantly because things have been closed my pottery studio has been closed a lot of things have been going on um i will say that being forced to stay home for extended periods of time by myself has not been the absolute worst thing for my mental health and actually hasn't been the worst thing for my productivity in terms of updating my apartment space. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite updates that I've made in my space this year, some of my best buys for the year and just kind of like a little stroll down memory lane. So hopefully this is interesting. If you find it interesting, hopefully you will subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that jazz. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is this right behind me. This is a new art piece that I created in the space. I really like having something tall that is bringing your eye up to the ceiling immediately as you're walking into my space. What I had here before were three pillars of gray canvases. I liked the neutral. My whole idea behind the gray was that I could dress up the couch cushions, I could dress up different accoutrements on the coffee table and nothing would clash. I've obviously got a lot of stuff going on just to the side of the piece with the plants, but this year for whatever reason I really felt my spirit being called to something orange and gold. Um, I really love this. You can actually see it's slightly unfinished at the bottom here. I kind of put it up just to get it off the floor and haven't come back to it. Um, I don't know exactly what happened, but I feel like I pulled something in my knee sitting, you know, crisscross applesauce on the floor, putting the gold leaf on this thing. So um, yeah, like literally like have gone to my doctor, have had like an x-ray on my knee, like severe pain style, so. 2020, <laughs> am I right? I love gold accents, I have gold all over my house, so this was a really great inclusion into that collection. And yeah, I think I'm kind of really coming into the fact that I'm not so much a neutrals sort of person. I like a lot of bright and bold prints and colors and patterns and just working them together in a way that's not horrifically visually offensive. So my second favorite apartment update of 2020 is my bedroom area update, which includes my new headboard, taking down the curtain that was hanging from the ceiling to divide the space, and adding that table at the foot of the bed that was one of my woodworking 101 projects throughout the year. So I really like the idea of having separate functional spaces in a small home. If you aren't able to do that, I would at least recommend trying to carve out a space where your bed can be hidden in a little corner so you feel like you are retreating into the bedroom. Prior to this summer, I had a curtain hanging from the ceiling to separate the bedroom space but because I live alone I never really had the curtain drawn and honestly it kind of just looked weird when you walked into the room your eyes were drawn up toward the curtain on the ceiling instead of toward my art so taking the curtain down and putting this wooden table at the foot of the bed I think was probably one of my best moves of the year I do lose some floor space in this kind of walkway in between my my dresser and the bed walking into the rest of the apartment but I gained so much first of all the bed does seem more recessed more separate more kind of in its own space behind this table and I get so much surface area for someone like me who loves knickknacks and tchotchkes and swapping out you know statues and flowers 
being able to use this surface area to decorate has been amazing. I like the addition of having the lamp on the table, just creating a lighting story for this space that is a little bit darker because I have the bookcase blocking the bed. The addition of the headboard in this space was a big change for me as well. So typically I don't like having a headboard behind my bed because I like to have different pieces of art behind my bed and I don't ever want to have something competing with any kind of art I have on the wall. This year, as it turns out, the piece of art that I had behind the bed works so much better on the wall next to the bed and so that kind of left a blank space above the bed. So I created a base on the wall with some spare wood parts and I found this foam flooring at the 99 cent store. It's supposed to be used to like cushion the sound in your gym or underneath a workout area. And I got this really beautiful chartreuse I don't know, I don't know if this is, <clears throat> is it chartreuse? and I literally built out my own headboard. I wanted to customize the height. I wanted it to be really flat to the wall. And again, I didn't want it to be something that was competing visually with the art in the space. And I gotta say, even though I'm not normally a fan of a headboard, I really like the look of what I've got going on now in the bedroom. So my next favorite apartment update of 2020 is the conversion of my vanity area into an office space and my general closet update. I left my full-time job before the pandemic really kicked off and my intention was working my part-time job and spending more time at home building Tali Warren Design, building my design studio. Um, getting off to a rockier start than I'd hoped because 2020, am I right? Uh, but I did know that I wanted to have a dedicated office space. I'm a very visual person. I like to have my post-its. I like to have, you know, a to-do board written that I can look at every day. I wanted to have somewhere that I can leave my laptop and really feel like if I'm working at home that this is the place where I work and when I walk away I am just Talia in my living space. So the only place for me to do that was the little nook of a desk underneath my cabinet in the closet area. The conversion actually worked really well. I just took the mirror and light down off of the vanity, swapped out the desk for a more comfy office chair, put up my post-its, and I really made the space work well. Because I'm utilizing one of my closet sliding doors as an office space, I also did a pretty major upgrade of the inside of of my closet so I can keep the closet doors open with all of my crazy business notes on the back door hidden whenever we are able to have company again in our house. Prior to this year I didn't really care about what the inside of my closet looks like but now it's one of the nicest most consistently organized spaces in my house and the two spaces work really well together and I do feel really productive in that office space so I'm really happy that I was able to carve out those two completely separate functions in such a small square footage. My last favorite apartment update of 2020 has got to be the green wall in my kitchen. I think I probably went through seven or eight different colors before I finally decided on that green. I was trying to balance it out and not have too many like strong male colors in the space and I feel like green is a very like male energy color but it's also one of my favorite colors I also have plants everywhere it kind of really fits well but it took a long time to decide on that green and now it's absolutely one of my favorite things to look at in the space I love a statement wall and I don't really have not that I couldn't have done a statement wall anywhere. I don't think that I would have done a statement wall anywhere else in my space. I have a statement ceiling. My ceiling is green also. It's like a seafoam green. But yeah, I love just being able to have that bright, deep, bold statement. It catches the attention out of the corner of your eye so well, which is such an important thing to do. I think when you're in a small space, really creating those 
moments of like wow that catch someone's attention and kind of take your attention away from other parts of your small space it makes the space feel bigger overall and like i said it was very hard fought coming to the decision to use that green which is crazy because i have so much green everywhere in my apartment um so lastly i wanted to highlight some of the best items that i purchased from my house in 2020 First one being black velvet hangers. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how fancy I feel taking my clothes off of a black velvet hanger next to another black velvet hanger, next to a whole row of black velvet hangers. If you are looking to make one update in your house that is gonna make you feel like you have arrived, it's completely swapping out all of your hangers for black velvet hangers uh, especially if you can see any part of your closet from not being inside the closet oh, it looks it, it makes your clothes look so clean so uniform the closet updates that I made without having swapped out the hangers it would look ridiculous it would look I had like pink and plus purple this and just it was a mess upgrade your hangers I got mine off of Amazon because everything is on Amazon and they weren't that expensive. Another great item I brought into my space in 2020 is my blue office chair. My original goal. No, it's a car. I can't get no satisfaction or silence. The next great item I brought into my house in 2020 it was my blue office chair. I am so glad that I ended up getting a blue office chair instead of a white chair. My original thought again was I didn't want to pick something that would clash or stand out too much visually but as I've mentioned already in this video 2020 has been me coming to terms with just how tacky I am. So I'm really glad I went with the blue chair. I think it's so much more of a statement piece from the line of sight looking from my door through the end of my apartment. If you haven't checked out my video on styling by vantage point and line of sight, I will link it down below so you know what I'm talking about. Third item I wanna talk about is my Tarva dresser and this includes the updates that I made to it which were inspired by Drew over at the Lone Fox. I will link his channel and the video where he did this DIY down below. So about five years ago, I had a small dresser that fit into my closet. But when I got rid of that, I had no storage space for folded clothing items. I was using some cubes in my Calax here, but this is kind of not optimal because, you know, Having to dig all this way to find a pair of socks that you want is not ideal. Because not only did I get some much needed storage space for folded clothes, I was also able to claim the top two dresser drawers of the Tarva as makeup and skincare, which worked out because I converted my vanity into an office. So a lot of moving parts here in 2020 but at the end of the day it all worked out so that is it all of my favorite apartment updates of 2020 i feel like because we've spent so much more time at our home this year a lot of us have been doing little tweaks and updates and re renovations and diys to make our places more suitable for us over longer extended periods of time so if you've done any apartment updates this year i would love to know about them leave me a comment down below and if you're interested in seeing some of my projects plan for 2021 right after I post this video I'm gonna be posting another video that I'm gonna be talking about some of my apartment goals for the upcoming year so I hope you will stay tuned for that and until next time guys stay safe happy new year and have a great one bye